Hello everyone and welcome once again to MJ's Maths and Stats. That's MJ Magic Studio to you. I'm your host, your host, and as usual in the ghost mode, Mohit Jain. Today, in this session, we will be talking about Tech Mahindra's on-campus drive that is just started in few states of India, and uh, it would be uh, like covering Pan India very soon. So, in near future, if you are going to write or attempt this fresher evaluation online examination of Tech Mahindra, the session would be of help to you in knowing the pattern which they are following. They have a change pattern, and the questions, the types of questions that would be asked. So, stay connected. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and help the channel grow at least till 25k uh, before we launch a new video. So. Let's start now. Starting with the pattern, as said that uh, for on-campus fresher evaluation this time, Tech Mahindra is coming up with a new pattern, and the best part of this pattern, or may not be the best part, there is no English ability or verbal ability. Section one in this pattern is a uh, logical ability, where twelve questions would be asked, for which a good fifteen minutes is given. these are shl mcat global platform questions which are very easy comparatively easy uh, to other companies other platform and you would be able to solve this in good 15 minutes uh, we would be taking up uh, like what are the different 12 question that need to be answered but before that let's complete that uh, what is actually the next section next section that would be following logical ability is numerical ability or quantitative ability the what they call is quantitative ability advanced again 12 questions for which 15 minutes is given and once this section is over next section would be essay writing one topic would be given for which 25 minutes is given now talking about the essay writing first a topic would be given 25 minutes is there uh you need to write an essay within 100 to 400 words don't exceed 400 words and don't write less than 100 words make sure you are not using backspace very often while you are writing the essay that is my uh, personal advice and make uh, less mistakes while typing cut i'll go back to logical ability and uh, we'll see that what different 12 questions are there which we need to answer section 1 logical ability 12 questions need to be answered in 15 minutes there's a new on campus pattern one question will come at a time on the screen you need to answer that and then only you can move to the next question so please mind it you need to go one by one answer the one question that is on the screen then you move to the next if you want to skip you can skip but then you won't be able to come back to the question which you have already skipped there is no negative marks so why to skip just try to attempt clear now you will get 12 questions two questions from analogies analogies would be again of type alphabetic or numerical analogies like 10 is to 100 then 15 is to what It, we need to identify the relationship which is giving which has been given uh, between the given pair and then set on that find your answer so 10 is square is 100 15 square is 225 something like that 1 2 3 is to 4 5 6 Then three, four, five is to what? Six, seven, eight, something like that. Uh, numerical analogies, and then you can also expect alpha numerical analogies. A plus five is uh, six, and six is F, something like this. And B 
plus 2 is 4 for his D then if the, these two are uh, somehow related then how M 2 O is related to from the given option we need to identify so alphabetic analogies numerical analogies or alpha numerical analogy is of high chance uh, in this particular exam two questions from there next topic coding decoding simple question again two questions would be asked uh, maximum chances are that they would be uh, plus addition or subtraction type of coding decoding like where a is coded as z then b is coded as y Sim simple like this or a is coded as e then b is coded as f then uh, train is coded at something find the code for rain or find the code for sand coding decode gone very easily it can be done next question would be from direction sense simple layman direction where uh, just follow the instruction solve it i'm putting in links of all the different videos of direction sense data sufficiency all the topics which we are discussing here in the description if you want to dwell deeper into these concepts or it is uh, just simple you can draw the diagram uh, draw the direction diagram and solve it sorry my voice i'm not keeping well but still uh, i think if i'm audible enough please mention that in the comment box that okay or or else i need to take a break seriously then expect one question from symbol uh, directive symbol directive means uh, uh, some relationship would be given to you between uh, two alphabets or two numbers with the help of symbols like uh, if i say a at the rate b that means that a is uh, greater than b a plus b that means a is less than b or a asterisk b it means a is less than equals to b something like that based on which some statement and conclusions would be given we need to answer accordingly next uh, will be two questions from data sufficiency simple reasoning based question uh, based on the given uh, premises a question would be given two statement would be given and we need to identify whether we are in the position to answer that or not and since it is uh, data sufficiency related to logical ability high chances are that data sufficiency would be getting uh, around sitting arrangements a question is there that out of the given five six uh, friends who is the tallest who who has got the first rank or who is sitting beside A, who is sitting beside B, something that kind of question, two statement would be given based on that, try to identify the solution. Last four questions would be from eligibility test and there will be two tests, like uh, one test data would be given, test data one, and based on that, two premises, two individuals data would be given, we need to identify whether those people are eligible according to the given situation or not. So there will be two test data and with each test data, two person's name would be associated and then we need to identify. Here I would like to uh, uh, draw your attention that please be sure when you are marking it, uh, please go through the entire data very thoroughly because high chances are that there may be data insufficient in this eligibility test or data won't be sufficient enough for you to answer so that's my humble request read it properly you will have an ample time don't worry about that because analogy is coding decoding directions and five questions you'd be able to do it in three four minutes you'd be saving time to read the eligibility test question entire criteria look at the data of the given person very carefully first see that all uh, data which is required is given or not before drawing any conclusion if the entire data is not there please clearly mark data insufficient if entire data is there then you check whether he's eligible not eligible or conditionally eligible make use of the entire 15 minutes don't hustle don't hurry about anything calm quietly do it in 15 minutes it is an easy task
Moving on to the next section, once you have completed section one on logical ability, come to quantitative ability advance. That is what they call. Again, 12 questions need to be answered in 15 minutes. Please, whatever topic you can see on the screen, practice this. Very simple, basic, property-based question. Permutation combination, major focus on permutation. Like what kind of question? Major focus again on digits. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 digits are given. Then how many even number of 8 digits you can have? How many odd numbers of 8 digits you can have? How many 5 digit numbers you can have? How many 8 digit numbers you can have divisible by 4 or divisible by 5, divisible by 2? These kind of questions, repetition allowed, repetition not allowed, please do practice. I'm putting up all my links to different pump, different uh, videos related to these topics that would be in the description. Please mind it going through it. But uh, simple questions for permutation, expect two questions. And as far I think, both the questions can be from digits. But uh, at least one question will be from digits. Next two questions will be from probability. Dice, coins, and uh, maybe like selection process where we need to use combination formula. Out of uh, uh, five green, six black, uh, four white balls, draw two balls such that both are of same color or different color, or there are 5% from company G, 6% from company B, 4% from company W. What is the probability that uh, company G's person is selected? Dice is my pick. You should get a question from dice. If two dice are rolled, what is the probability of getting uh, 4 on both the dice or 4 on at least one of the dices or 4 on only one of the dices? What is the probability of getting sum equals to 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, whatever. Two questions. Done. Log simple property based question. Log A base B is equals to X. Then we know that A is equals to B to the power X. We know log uh, 10 base 10 is 1. Simple property based question. Please prepare. Time, work, speed, that means one question from time and work and one question from time and speed. And the chances are, please uh, go through boats and streams, upstream, downstreams. Uh, M plus W is the speed coming downstream. M minus W is the speed when you are coming, uh, going upstream. Time and work, simple masala formula. Masala formula, rule number eight. Uh, link to all rules are there in the description. You can go. Uh, Masala formula says M1 D1 H1 by W1 equals M2 D2 H2 by W2. You would be able to solve questions related to time and work. So my pick is on Masala formula, boats and streams. Uh, trains or relative speed can also be part of time and speed question. Also go through average speed how to calculate it that is in rule number nine simple averages no go through weighted average weighted average concept weighted average equals that is n1 x1 bar plus n2 x2 bar by n1 plus n2 if weight uh, if average of n1 object is x1 bar uh, ob average of n2 object is x2 bar then combined average based on that you should get a simple question Coming up to equation, it can be marginal costing, variable cost, fixed cost, such type of question, cost equations, profit equations. We know profit is equals to sale or revenue minus cost. Same kind of equation. When to get break even? Break even, break even point means where profit is equals to zero or you can say where revenue is equals to cost. When you will earn profit, you will earn profit when revenue is greater than cost such kind of question and or or age related questions cut remaining two to three questions would be from numbers and the topics which you should uh, do in numbers maybe like uh, 
to a little bit of SCF LCM, divisibility, divisibility, uh, types of number, prime number, what kind of number is one, and what are is uh, square number, two digit numbers, uh, sum of uh, two digit numbers, the number and uh, fractions, fraction. Yes, uh, you should do a lot of fractions. Uh, 25 percent of a number exceeds uh, 20 percent of the number by some uh, some a, a x y z then what is the number and a fraction is given something is added in the numerator something is uh, subtracted in the denominator then a fraction changes to some new values that kind of questions should be covered in numbers there is no uh, uh, fancy questions in num from number system but please go through the basic new senses of natural number whole number prime number composite number square numbers so that you can easily answer these questions from number so these are 12 questions simple question again hollo hollo dheere dheere aram se you should do it and uh, best wishes to everyone those who are writing on campus this year for Tech Mahindra. I'll see you soon.